today's video, Yorkie Haircut, Trimming Yorkie Hair. Hey everyone, want to share this little video today with you guys. This little guy's name is Jackson. And Jackson never, ever, ever had a groom. And he's an old boy. When he came in, I was thinking, oh geez, I just I have to shave all of this off. Even if he didn't have any knots, he was so, so, so dirty. I think I'm gonna, I think I have a, a before shot so I'll show you guys at the end or something but anyhow so he was really really dirty so client said well you know I trust you so you can do what you want but I wasn't gonna shave the dog for sure because the owner they've known this they've had this pup for a long time and they've always seen him with long hair so I didn't want to go there so anyhow so I decided all right I'm gonna give him a nice cut so he's gonna get two shampoos and uh, facial, of course. Of course I'm going to move this along and uh, there's gonna be faster, like, yeah, right there. There's faster edits and faster movement with the, uh, with the edits. I don't know what you call that, fast forward type of thing. <laughs> Anyhow, so this little guy, uh, came in pretty dirty and I was pretty happy to be able to give him a nice cut because he really really needed it. I was going around on the um, web the other day I was looking at some really cool uh, fun facts of the Yorkie. Um, not sure if you guys have heard this before but these little dogs were bred in order to hunt rats. So I can only imagine these little hairy pups running around, trying to catch some rats, probably bringing them home. I don't know eh? if they do like cats. I had a cat once that brought, <sighs> brought the mouse. It was not a rat, it was a mouse. Brought the mouse to my door, my bedroom door. I got up in the middle of the night and I was hearing some rumbling going around, around like the cat was running around and I didn't realize I'm thinking oh my god my cat's really uh, having a ball in the middle of the night right <laughs> and uh, I woke up the next morning and there was a mouse we found a mouse that's what had happened found a mouse and dropped it right right at my bedroom door I'm lucky that I looked down because it was right there in the middle where the door was so anyhow so <sighs> That was horrible. I have other mouse stories. Maybe I'll tell you guys in uh, my other videos. But so yeah. So he was pretty easy. He wasn't, uh, back to Jack, uh, Jackson, sorry. He wasn't uh, very knotted. He had some knots under his arms and in his belly and whatnot. But he was actually pretty good for a first groom. He really let me do, he really let me do my job. As you see, he's a really, really good pup. Very, very patient. Um, I also wanted to mention I had uh, there's this other thing that I had read on the internet uh, the other day that apparently in 1984 there's a little Yorkie not remembering his name if ever you guys know the name of this Yorkie could you uh, you could comment it or let me know or I'll just check it out um, this little Yorkie was born with unusual markings in blue white and gold and the breeders uh, were, were, uh, were Werner and Gertrude Buer and they decided to take this unique little puppy and create a new breed and that's where we got the the Buer Yorkie so uh, they are so cute I just started grooming two little Buers oh my god the colors are just so beautiful together as these are on here on Jackson I mean I just love that color I mean I'm thinking, I'm seriously thinking, my hair right now is actually, I have some grays coming in, so I have some gray and black in there. But I also have, at the tips of my hair, I don't know if you guys noticed, but right there at the tips of my hair, I have some 
caramel colors. So I'm thinking of actually asking my hairdresser to do a better job at that and get more caramel in there so that I have like the Yorkie hair color. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. And maybe as I get older and my hair gets whiter, then I'll have the Buer hair color. <laughs> that would be funny. But anyhow, <laughs> so moving along here, um, this little Yorkie, of course, is, uh, I think he's having the time of his life here. He's just letting me do what I want to do. And uh, he's just so cute and sweet. Look how silky that hair is, just beautiful. Um, there was another name, uh, years ago uh, years ago i mean <laughs> years years and years and years ago of course um they were called these yorkies they weren't they weren't yorkies they were, were known as broken haired scottish terriers uh, until that name was changed uh once they were introduced in yorkshire england england so yeah i had no idea that they were actually scottish they started off there in Scotland <laughs> anyhow oh look at that face I am just so so proud of you Jackson <laughs> well see I would have done probably I would have done a shorter face just a bit shorter but since the client was used to having a his face being longer uh, I decided that I didn't want to scare the client with showing up with this round Yorkie head and uh, but anyhow I, I feel that this would be this m matches better the body the cut so that's another reason why I kept it a little longer you know he seems like a tough boy so he he needs all of that bulk right <laughs> but anyhow the client was really really happy when uh, she came in she uh, told me that uh, the dog never looked better so I'm pretty pretty proud of that so this is my little little bugger here that I will be grooming again hopefully I'm pretty sure I will her other dog I've been grooming the other dog for about maybe 10 years now I hope you guys really enjoyed the groom um, I'll be back with more stories and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. New to this channel? Consider subscribing. I'll be sure to bring you new content to give you the opportunity to either learn something new or for just simple entertainment.